Hey, welcome back to another session. In this session, we are going to discuss about database settings and how we are managing database connection. So in the last videos, we already created our layout for the login page and we installed account modules. Next is we have to install our database. So here default database is SQLite. So we know that it's a lightweight database. Our data is a little bit more bigger. So we are going to use another database. Here we are going to use PostgreSQL database. So we have to download PostgreSQL first and you have to install that. How to do that? Just open Google and type PostgreSQL. It will take you to the .org website. Then we are using Windows. You can choose whichever OS we are using. Then download the installer. Specify the version of your OS. and click on download it will start downloading automatically once it's downloaded you can install in your local machine it will take a little bit time based on your OS configuration and the speed So let it be in start. Then we have to install PG Admin 4. It's, this is actually a UI for the PostgreSQL. It's the most famous UI for PostgreSQL database. So we know that if you, we have UI user interface, it is easy to manage, right? We can view that uh, tables, then you can create tables without using the shell or comment prompt. So that's the benefit of PG admin 4 that also I have to download so the version I'm going for little lower version always the latest version having some bugs so it's just really, released on December then I have to download this exe So that's all we're downloading. The insertion for Postgres here is going on. Uh, it will take a little bit time. After downloading all this thing, we have to change this configuration to Postgres here. Then we have to create a username, username, and you have to create a password for the user and the host host of course we are using local host that you have to mention here so after installing we will change this accordingly uh, finally it's completed remove the trick, trick mark so we don't know how to install drivers then finish so it's completed the next step is we already downloaded PG admin the UI for the database. We have to install that as well. After that, we'll change these settings. So it is asking for the permission. Share for all users. Next. So let it install that one as well. 